Good evening, everybody. It's Valerie Ling here. I'm coming to you live this evening, having spent a whole day today with a group of people whom I'm very, very passionate about. Um, it was a conference bringing together professional helpers as well as clergy and pastoral um, staff into one room to talk about the issue of how to stay resilient and be and endure in ministry. A good evening, Kim. And um, I actually put in a, a plan of action today, which was to head to the gym at, I've never done this before, Kim. Um, I actually went to the gym at 6 a.m. and I was pleasantly surprised by the number of people who were in the gym at 6 a.m. And um, had a, had a time to just put in the exercise first because I knew that by the time I finished today, there was no way I was gonna have motivation to go out and exercise. Just realizing I'm wearing my Mickey Mouse um, shirt here. Um, there's a fantastic picture of Walt Disney holding hands with Mickey. Have you seen that one, Kim, before? It really, really moved me when I saw that. Um, it's, it's a figure uh, in, in Disneyland, I think is where I saw it, of Walt Disney holding um, Mickey's hand. You're going to the gym tomorrow. Good on you, Kim. It's hard work. It's really, really hard work. Um, I'm just coming just to, I think, share a little bit about my experience today. I was particularly moved today because what I saw was um, a coming together of sorts of people who have heard painful stories from, uh, you know, from clergy who have burnt out and also um, clergy who themselves have, who have experienced difficult uh, things in their world. Um, and I think for me, it was just a, a testament to the power of people getting together and actually saying and normalizing that life does get difficult. We can't escape that. We, we can't avoid that. So one of the things I talked about today quite a bit is that we're going to feel anxious and we're going to want to avoid some things or we may want to simplify the picture for ourselves. And when I say simplify, what I mean is you know, don't take on particular tasks because we're afraid we're not going to cope very well or um, to reduce um, our exposure uh, to anything that's going to make us feel um, worried or anxious or, uh, in, you know, uh, unsure about ourselves. And it was a great way for us to come together and actually say, that's just being human. Uh, it's a myth. There are no superhumans. Um, you know, the mask that we put on ourselves to actually look like we've got it all together, uh, to look like we have, um, we're happy on the outside. Um, you know, it, it's a myth that any one of us will go through life with, with um, the ability to sail through and not experiencing experience any hardship. But I think one of the positive things was um, I presented with two other therapists, um, well, uh, another organizational psychologist and also um, someone from the Family Systems Institute, Institute here in Sydney. And I think one of the wonderful things that came out of the conference was the message again that we can actually grow. There is such a thing called post-traumatic growth, for example, where we can actually come out, you know, acknowledge that we've got the wounds and the scars and, and, and the hurts, but we can stand up with the help of one another. I'm not negating it and saying that didn't happen or um, you're ridiculous or silly to feel that, but actually acknowledging and saying, of course you would feel that. Uh, why wouldn't you feel that? But coming together, picking ourselves up together and actually learning from our experiences uh, as an individual, trying to figure out, okay, you know, what are some of the things that I might have learned uh, that, that, that brought about this situation or what can I now figure out about how I'm going to stand up again after, um, you know, after this incident has happened? And also, I think it was about for me, um, hey, Kathy, uh, thanks. You love my message. Thanks, Kim. It was also, I think, about the power of a group of people coming together and saying, we don't want this to keep going on, that we hide in secret spaces and we cry in secret spaces and we feel the shame of, um, you know, feeling like we've somehow failed. Uh, we want to actually come together and say, no, it's actually... 
all part of the growth process. It's all part of coming out of this experience and saying, okay, um, we pick up and we, we, we keep moving. One of my fears or one of my concerns about um, the resilience movement in, in burnout thinking, um, particularly in conferences, where you know you're speaking about very general material and, and, and one of my concerns is that the message that comes across is that the individual not so much has to suck it up but the whole weight of actually um getting out of burnout or or, or um avoiding burnout lies squarely on the shoulders of just looking at things from an individual perspective sleep more exercise more you know your coping statements and all of that it's actually not just about resilience. Um, it's actually about our relate the relationships that we have with the people that we're working with, that we're serving, um, the values and the ethos and the responsibilities that we have as an organization actually to keep the people who um, give their time uh, to work and serve to make sure it is a safe environment, to make sure that it is a mentally healthy welcoming environment to make sure that there is clarity in what we do that we do talk we do provide feedback the way that we give feedback is thought about and that there are intentional ways for which we can actually honor and respect the people who work for us and with us i think that's a really important thing to consider and i was very happy that we were able to touch on quite a few of these dynamics uh, in a really helpful and positive way today so I'm going to sign off now. I've got my feet up. I'm actually in my room. Um, this is actually one part of my jammies. <laughs> That's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> I'm actually going to just um, chillax right now. Uh, good night. See you later. Kathy, I will see you soon.